Have you ever been to a security command center? It's a tough place to work. It's not often you get a spectacular view like we have from our office of Tampa Bay. It's typically a dark office with no windows, perhaps in a basement or a back room. It's a room full of screens and the job of an operator can go from the mundane, oh, there's another employee who forgot their badge and needs access to the building, to the serious, such as an intruder, a medical incident, or a building evacuation. It's a tough job. You're responsible for protecting the people and assets of the organization. And to do this, you have to interface with five, could be 10 different types of security systems simultaneously. Each one creating a unique set of alarms and action plans to follow. And to be good at it, you have to be an expert on each one of these programs. Not only that, you're responsible for locations near and far. You could be monitoring the buildings you're in or buildings on the other side of the globe. The fact is, in most cases, the staff who run these centers will never visit the locations they monitor. And everyone wants to do a good job, get better, save money, run a tight ship. But in this environment, it's almost impossible to measure the efficiency of the operation. There is just too many systems, too many workflows. It's a tough job. Hi, I'm Simon from Shoreview. For over 20 years, we've been working with customers across the globe building integrations to hundreds of different types of systems. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through how we help make the job of security operations a little easier, providing solutions for some of the fundamental problems that every command center experiences. Let's take a look at the Shellview Operations Suite. It's made up of three major modules. Each can be used independently or together to achieve greater efficiency. We deliver this as a service, a SaaS. We also have an option to deploy the software on premise for those customers with lockdown environments. Let's start with the response. This is a single pane of glass for coordinating the real-time response to alarms and events. Following the circle clockwise, we move to field operations, which helps operators responding to those events in real time connect with their key field assets, such as officers and guards, to assist in that response. Field Ops includes a mobile app for iOS and Android that tracks real-time location of your team and provides instant communication between the field and the SOC. Cases is our flexible investigation and incident tracking platform. Typically teams use cases to create workflows for what happens after an event, an investigation or data collection. These types of records can be open for hours, days or weeks. Cases provides the flexibility for teams to create their own unique processes and workflows that are exclusive to their organization. At the heart of this suite is an integration engine that connects Shoreview to the systems that organizations rely on to secure their facilities, protect their staff, and communicate with their team. This is just a small subset of the library of integrations that we offer at Shoreview. At the heart of our integration library is our standard-based integrations. Using industry standards for video streaming, alarms, audio, and notification, it provides a quick, cost-effective, and simple way to support the greatest range of devices. In addition to these standards, we also build connectors to the most common security systems such as VMS, access control, alarm systems, etc. And increasingly, we're building integrations to business systems used for communication, authentication, ticket tracking, and more. These integrations serve two purposes. Firstly, they provide a single view to coordinate the response across disparate systems. And secondly, they centralize and normalize all the key operational data needed to make quick and informed decisions. So let's jump in and I will walk you through a quick overview of each of these platforms. This is the main operator interface of response. We're gonna pick up an alarm out of the list here, the door forced at the stairwell entrance. In the main response interface, it's broken into three areas. The top left there is the alarms that were triggered for the event. Below that is our map that includes a floor plan, the nearby assets, such as cameras, offices, doors. And on the right hand side, we have an action plan. These are the steps I need to follow in response to this event. In addition to this, we have the media matrix, which shows us a short clip of what triggered the alarm. In this case, it was the gentleman walking through the door in the stairwell. And we also have the other nearby cameras to give us situational awareness. Back to the main response interface, I'm going to complete my action plan, filling out the various steps that are required. Once I'm finished that, I'm gonna give this a closure code, what happened with this particular event, 
um, complete that, and then I'm back to the queue to pick up the next event. Field operations is map driven. You can see all your assets, your floor plans, your different buildings all on the map on the left. On the right hand side, you can see all your assets listed and just by clicking on each one of them, the map will center on that particular asset. You can move assets on the map manually or if they're using the mobile apps, they will automatically move as they move around town. Down below, if I wanna chat with someone on the mobile app, I can do that directly from the interface here. So if I need to coordinate my response, I can do that. If I need to change the status of someone, so they've called in, say, on a radio and said they're on route, I can automatically change them here. And this will give a notification for everyone in the team that Alpha 3 has changed their status and they're now on route. Cases allows you to create custom workflows for different types of events. So in this example, we'll take a medical record and we'll create a template that will capture information that is relevant to that type of incident. We could also take a different type of event like a vehicle damage, but we'd be collecting different information about that type of event. When users log in to work their case, in addition to completing the form, they're able to upload additional media such as images or videos, and they can also select the key media from the original response. All of this information is then available in Insights to create your own custom dashboards. This allows you to visualize your data in various different ways and share it with your team. Finally, let's look at the operational data that Shoreview collects so that security leaders can make informed decisions in order to run a more efficient operation. The foundation of this operational data is the Shoreview audit trail. This tracks every action taken by an operator in response to an event. Operators just do their job, while in the background, Shoreview automatically collates all this information and standardizes it so that managers can review individual events or can get a broader picture through our insights reports. In our insights reports, managers and supervisors can dig into the alarm and events that are impacting their operation and look at the performance of their team. In this particular example, we can have a look at the alarms that are impacting a particular building. And then we can drill into the specific point that's creating that traffic. In addition, we can look at the performance of our team. So we can look at who is processing the most number of alarms, how quickly they're responding and processing those events. So let's wrap this up. All of this technology is great for connecting systems and teams, and obviously will deliver operational benefits to most organizations. The question is, what results can a security team expect if they were implementing Shoreview? Let's start with real-time performance metrics. Most security teams we meet with have a really hard time accessing consistent performance metrics about their operation. It's understandable. Every system tracks different information in different databases and technology stacks. Collating this information into a single operational picture involves a lot of time-consuming steps. The entire process is inconsistent, difficult to automate, and costly. With Shoreview, just by operators doing their job, all of this is automated. It allows leaders to immediately see their outliers that affect performance and set SLA targets. Say, we want to reduce our response times by 90 seconds. This key operational data allows teams such as a large global technology company to measure their performance as they undergo rapid growth. This organization not only had to handle a massive influx of alarms from new properties, they did this while driving down their response time dramatically. It's not just about efficiency. Real cost savings can be achieved as well. The turnover in these centers can be extensive and expensive. A recent customer shared their experience finding and retaining staff. If you were to calculate the hard costs of this effort, it's significant. Against this backdrop, our customers have found they can reduce their training time to under two hours and are able to find opportunities to automate tasks, consolidate satellite centers, or push work more efficiently to the field. With real-time metrics in hand, managers can make informed decisions that result in true cost savings. But finally, let's not lose track of why we have security command centers in the first place. The goal is to secure and protect the people and assets of the organization. By building a team that efficiently responds, 
has access to real-time situational awareness and can easily share their response with their colleagues allows teams to achieve the goal of delivering better security outcomes. It's a tough job, but with Shoreview you can simplify your security operations. To learn more about us, visit our website at shoreviewsystems.com or connect with us on LinkedIn and YouTube.